Hey cutie foodies and welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only Sweet Pea here and today we have a classic tuna sandwich mukbang for you. So, I know I look cute right with my curls and my glasses. Anyway, <clears throat> if this light stops washing out my sandwich um, and hopefully you watched the making of this sandwich but we have some cheddar cheese some red onions we have pickles we have hot banana peppers and of course our tuna in there so we're just gonna get started mm. Sour cream and onion. I ain't even gonna lie. This is literally my third video of the day. There's gonna be a fourth coming soon. So get used to this hair. Get used to these glasses and get used to this outfit. I would try to squeeze in a fourth but i'm kind of tired because it's a lot of wet stuff on the bottom i'm just gonna flip it over and eat it from the top oh and down here i have some good old poland springs aqua so I don't do really well with extremely cold stuff or extremely hot stuff. I really don't like to eat my food super hot and I don't like to eat it super cold. And I made this sandwich and all my pickled vegetables are freaking freezing. This refrigerator behind me, the truth. But, um, yeah. I would have started mukbang miss on the 1st of December, but the beginning of December, like I was telling you guys in my boyfriend chronicle um, video of death in relationships, if you've seen that one, go check it out. It's listed in my boyfriend chronicles playlist. If I remember, I'll link it down below. But if you remember that video, I said my grandfather passed right after um, our last Thanksgiving and he passed away on the 2nd of December. So it was really hard. And then my um, cousin's son, his birthday is the 2nd of December. So it's like it's kind of bittersweet because you can't just grieve on a day where a child was born and he's still a sweet little boy and I love him That's one of my babies I love all of her children and she and I were like this when um we were younger we are five years apart and ever since she came into this world I had her with me okay so she was my little baby doll I took her everywhere I went. I always had her spending the night with me. Crawling. In a walker. In diapers. She was with me at five years old. Right now she's going through a little trying time. Um, so... Just, I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's not my place to tell anybody's business even though you don't even know who the hell I'm talking about. But just in case you do, um, just send prayers out for my baby girl. But anyway, um, yeah, so he passed 
December 2nd, 2012. And around this time, it's always hard for me. Oh, I almost dropped my damn sandwich. It's always hard for me. But try to pull through and just go through the motions and try to forget about it because you never really want to mourn somebody for too long and just know that they're no longer suffering or you know any all of that jazz he wasn't exactly like 20 when he passed away but still that was my pop A little bit of tuna and these chips mm. Ooh, so cold and my family really played me with these damn chips I have a big ass bag on top of the refrigerator oh, look, oh, look, oh, look at this shit crumbs Crumbs. Like I'm a damn mouse or something. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Ooh, almost lost the onion. It's been so long since I had a tuna sandwich. It was last night, but still. Mm. I forgot to record it for my foodie crew. But it is what it is. This is gonna be a short video, y'all. I'm trying to keep them to a minimal unless I really, really have something to talk about. The bottom of my going to be sitting here rambling on about bullshit. Mm. That onion went down hard. How do you guys like to eat your tuna sandwiches? Leave it in the comments. Let me know. Eat my crumb of chips. You ever get to the bottom of the bag and just be sitting there like getting all the salt and the crumb because like your finger can't get all the way in there. And even if you can, it's just like you gotta make sure it's all out. The best. I really don't dig potato chips that much. But, ooh, it's like it's bright. You can't even see my chips no more. Let me see. <laughs> but, um, I usually um eat like Doritos. I love Wise Cheese Doodles. I don't like that Chester Cheeto, um, that bastard. I don't like his, um, his cheese doodles. Yes, I'm itching my ear. Mind your business. Um, mm. Okay, it's not a noodle, girl. Sweet pea is not a noodle. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was for a second. It's an onion, girl. And one of the mini meals Kobe would not stalk me about. Yesterday when I was eating it, he was all. And then I put a little piece up to his nose because I knew he wasn't going to eat it. He was. Tch. He's such a little character. Sorry, I realized I forgot to do a thumbnail. 
And I'm really picky about chips. This is why I don't like potato chips. Because I don't like these little, when I had the little um, brown pieces at the end, the little green pieces at the end. Even my potatoes, if it's like that, I'm going to throw it in the garbage. I'll chop that piece off and throw it in the garbage. For some reason, no matter what chip it is, even if it's a Dorito, I can't eat a chip that's like curled over. I don't know. When I go to the store, I always take shit from the back, no matter what it is. It could be maxi pads, toothpaste, gum, floss, deodorant, especially food, and especially drinks. Because I want the shit that's all the way in the back that's cold, cold, okay? Y'all like tuna and water or tuna and oil? Let me know in the comments. This is tuna and oil. I don't like that watered down shit. It's like, what's the point? Give me some good old tuna in a can that's filled with vegetable oil. This is light, but um, I didn't want it too fatty. So it's, I think it's like 92 or 97% less fat. Some bullshit that they try to sell you at the store. I don't care. Just give me my tuna and oil. Last tuna bite. Hmm. I'll bend it. Oh. Mm. Mm. Y'all can have them little brown pieces. So, plate clean. With the exception of these ugly chips that I'm not eating. So, I'll catch y'all guys for the next part of mukbang with. So, what? Mm. The only thing I don't like about eating sandwiches. Bread and cheese and shit all up in your teeth. Click on one of these buttons, watch some videos, subscribe to both channels, check out the links below if you want to see the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes, on the scenes, when the scene happened, check out my rumble and subscribe to my channel. If you're feeling free and funky fresh and you want to be nice and sponsor my channel, that'll be thugged out too. I was thirsty.